Hey guys, um, if my phone wouldn't slip everywhere. Um, so today I am testing this Cavatier Blend A and Blend B to see, this is literally just what I'm doing as part of a test for a client. So it's pre-measured, so you literally just can rip it open. And pour it in. Now I'm gonna add water about 94 degrees. So this is also pre ground as well, obviously. Um, and it smells pleasant. This is going to be for a company and then I think we'll put it in their own packaging and send it out and it will be like for office spaces, for people who are going out travelling, camping and then they can just literally take that with them. So. So you put 60 grams in, so I want to add really a litre of water, but as I've said before, it's always best to be able to dilute it than make it stronger. Bit of Beyonce, classic. So I've added 150ml and then I'm just going to let it through and make sure all the grounds are covered. To which they are now. And then um, top up to a litre. I'm probably going to do 800 ml though. There we go. Because this cavity hair is not really big enough. I just realised you can't really even see it. It's not really big enough for um, a litre to be honest. So give it a little stir. It's looking very nice on top. But, um, and then I'm just gonna take the top of the cafetiere and for the next four minutes, I'm just gonna plunge slightly so that all of the coffee is submerged, basically. So be right back. Okay, it's been about four minutes now, so I am, this is gonna get upset now, watch out. So what I've seen people do in a different technique, which I'm gonna try quickly. Did you just see that? It flipped all over me. Don't try that at home. Um, I'm just gonna skim, give it a stir, and then skim off the top. Get rid of the crema, any of the other bits that haven't settled. So that it's literally just the black coffee on the top. And then I'm gonna replunge. Slowly, not too much. And don't push it all the way to the bottom. Once you start to feel a little bit of pressure, I would stop. Um, cheers, time to taste.
very bold, good body, punchy, not enough acidity that I can identify it, and a little bit of bitterness, but as far as cafetiere goes, it's pretty balanced for a pre-ground blend. So I've now got to try one other. So what I'm gonna do to be able to compare them, let's just empty into here and repeat the process. And redo this, take two, with blend B. So I've, <clears throat> sorry, so I've made the second pop of cafetiere now, cafetiere number B, number B, letter B, um, and I'm just going to get rid of the crema of the top. Um, the, so as you might be able to see on that paper below, I've started to make comments on the first cup. Also, I know I should wash the spoons, I'm just being lazy, so. So that's done, yeah, so I've made the first kind of few notes about Specifically, I don't want it to be like a cupping form, but I have made notes on like the sweetness, clean cut, acidity, aftertaste, the general flavor. So I identified in the first one, it was quite roasty, but it tasted biscuity, toffee, maybe a little bit of honey in there as well, and um, a tiny bit of citric acidity. But in general, it was a really balanced cup of coffee, I thought. Like it wasn't overpowered by bitterness or um, like acidic. It was just quite sweet and enjoyable to drink. I've still got it here. So now I'm gonna do the same with this one and compare the two. Um, I'll put it in a slightly bigger cup so I can identify which one is which. But, um, and I appreciate this one's gonna be a little bit hotter. So, immediately, no joke, this one is brighter and sweeter and much more fruity, like it's higher in acidity for sure. A lot cleaner cup. So these are the kind of things I'm gonna be writing down. And then I'm gonna compare them with milk and sugar to see what I think tastes better as well because you have to keep in mind that often people who have a cafeteria, itchy foot, sorry, are going to be um, drinking with milk and sugar. So yeah, that's the next step for this. And then I will write all this feedback up onto my computer and send it back to the client and compare notes with him and see if we're on the same page about this. So just to finish, I have got my two cups of cafetiere coffee here and I've got my milk. So I'm literally gonna add the milk. So you can already see this one was definitely a lighter roast. And then I will taste them. <clears throat> I swear my voice lately, it's because I've been doing all these online stuff. 
extremely nutty when you add the milk. This one is not as good. This with milk is holding up stronger. This one without milk was the better coffee, in my opinion. So, add a sugar. Also, I, I took these sugars from a shisha bar that I was in the other day. Now that's what I would expect from a cafeteria with milk and sugar. We all have that relative that loves coffee with milk and sugar, even if you're making the most delicious coffee in the world. And so for them at this moment, I would be recommending that. It's okay with the milk and sugar. It's not as nice as this one. And I think that's because the acidity in this cup is already really high. So I'm gonna get back in touch with the client, give them the information. And basically I'm gonna say, milk and sugar, this one, black coffee, this one. So you can advertise like that. So um, that's kind of how I've done the taste testing today. I mean, it's very, very basic, but Obviously, I'll write up a lot of notes and continue to taste this now. And I've got leftover, I've still got more full cafeteria of each to taste. Um, but yeah, any questions, drop below. If you want me to test your coffee and send you feedback, again, let me know, drop me a message. Like, subscribe, do all the normal nonsense. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, guys.